What's up guys? It's a spent man coming to you from the beautiful North Country. Um, we're out here in the beautiful woods of the North Country looking for some chaga mushrooms. Um, yeah, I'm in a nice birch grove right now. It's been raining every single day in the North Country. So um, getting out in the woods and seeing what we can't find for some food. And I got a little bit of a chest cold going on, so I'm going to keep the video short. But uh, it's fitting that I'm out here in the woods uh, finding my medicine. Because right now it's all about harvesting the elderberries to make the cough syrup. And uh, getting the mushrooms for the uh, immunity, right? So check it out right here, what I'm finding. Um in lieu of chaga it's a little early for chaga by the way but check it out there's chappy the wonder dog right there but look what we've been finding all over these beautiful deciduous woods right here got some really really pretty and prime and proper chanterelle mushrooms one of my favorites and we're gonna harvest some right here it's beautiful. I like to get the dirt off the back there, clean it up a little bit so we don't have to uh, use so much water when we get home. It's pretty good right there. Get another one right there. And uh, fixing to find a pretty good amount of chanterelles in there and I got them mixed in with my chaga little bit of chaga going on as well that awesome black and gold baby right there and so that is what we're up to in the end of the summertime the end of August in the beautiful north country and um, like I said it's been raining quite a bit almost every day if I sound like I'm being dramatic, I'm not. It literally has almost rained every day. So certain stuff in our fields, uh, we're just going to let go at this point. Uh, we got a big field of beans that uh, just grew in like a lawn. And we can't even really uh, bring equipment in the back field. It's been so wet. So yeah, buddy. But that's how it goes every year something is successful and other things aren't successful um that's farming that's what they say but um another message that i've been getting uh from the woods the mystical woods is the message of discernment and following your own experience to discern uh what the truth is and less believing or following and theories or ideologies that guided us a lot of the way uh, through our life but returning to our experience and saying does this you know is what the world is telling me or is what my mind is telling me um, is this according to my ideology or does this align with my lived experience right and that's um, how we're going to be able to discern things in the future. So leaning into the eternal truths, the philosophy, the um, spiritual or the religious side of things and expanding on that to be able to discern the truth because the profane world, the administrative world of government and economics and um that whole matrix is just gonna continue on the path that it's on with um just blatant corruption and uh, out of control inflation and uh setting the world on fire so to speak and you know what um it's up to us to discern uh what we make of that what do we think of the official story because uh I know what I think it is, <laughs> and uh, you probably do out there as well. So, um, yep, we out here in the woods getting our mushroom fix in, 
and uh, taking in that twilight, that uh, beautiful mysticism in the woods that uh, you can only experience out here walking and uh, taking it in. It's a lot different than looking into the screens on the TV, if you know what I mean. But, so yeah, that's the message. Discernment, it keeps popping up for me. Discernment, discernment, discernment. And uh, that's what is going to uh, get us through uh, this world that we're in. And letting go of victim mentality and the obstacles that we place in our own mind that are ingrained within us that limit us, right? The limiting belief systems, letting go of them and tapping into something better, our own experience and uh, finding some awe and wonder in the world um, outside of the profane government religious world and uh, kind of letting that take its course and letting that be what it is and what it was always going to be and uh, setting ourselves up as well as we can as the age of decadence winds down so the people out there that just follow the mainstream news and follow the power and think that aligning themselves with power aligns them with power uh, unfortunately a lot of these people are gonna go the way of the dodo and that is why I'll be leaning more into a spiritual path and uh, developing that and having more faith in that um, turning away from the profane world a little bit not all the way you know a lot of our modern world is political and it's um, well it's you know it's a world religion at this point so it's not going to go away if we ignore it it's not going to go away it's still going to be there so we're not going to uh, try and ignore it but leaning more into the spiritual the philosophical the religious in a real way can help us deal with um, the stressors of life and the general situation of things and uh, help us find discernment because discernment, discernment, discernment just keeps on coming up for me over and over again. But anyway, guys, I got chaga mushrooms and chanterelle mushrooms to find out here in the beautiful woods of the North Country. So I'm going to let you go and uh, hope everyone is doing well out there. All right. See you guys. Bye-bye.